Kako. I'm an esthetician and laser technician at the Aesthetic Clinic. Today, I'll be working on my client, Chin and Ye, who has unusual hair growth on her cheek and chin area. So I'll be working with Aerolase, and I'll be doing a laser hair reduction on her. She's had this issue for about 15 years, and over the years, she's shaved, tweezed, waxed, and threaded, but she's come up with unwanted results like bumps and rough texture, including hyperpigmentation on the area. Our preferred method of treatment today will be laser hair reduction. The benefits include reduced growth cycle, improvement in the appearance of bumps and hyperpigmentation. The hair will grow back thinner and finer, and there will be an overall improvement in the skin quality. It's important to note that lasers do not offer permanent hair removal, but rather permanent hair reduction with the benefits mentioned previously. Today, I'll be using our Aerolase 1064 NDAG with 650 microsecond technology to perform this treatment. My client here is skin type 5 on the Fitzpatrick scale, and she is best suited for 1064 NDAG. So I've covered my client's eyes now, and I will protect my eyes as well from the laser beam. Put on some hand gloves for protection and my nose mask for protection. So I'm going to use the appropriate setting for my client's skin type. Okay. So right now, the pigment in the hair, the melanin in the hair, absorbs the laser beam and this works to destroy the blood supply, making the hair grow out thinner and finer. So it's causing dormancy and when the hair eventually grows out after a while, she will notice a significant improvement. My client will need a few sessions before she sees a significant change in the cycle of growth and also in the texture of hair. So somewhere around six sessions and then she will begin to see that significant change. As you can see, this is quite a comfortable procedure. My client is not in pain. All she feels is minimal discomfort. So I'm just done with today's treatment and my client will return for her second laser session in exactly four weeks. That will give us enough time to watch how much she's improved and how her hair has responded to today's treatment. So she might notice that there might be no growth or very little growth of hair. Also, the hair that comes out might be a little finer than it was today. Most importantly, we expect to see a significant improvement in the hyperpigmentation and bump around the area. My client will go home today with a soothing cream that she'll apply on the area for two weeks as a post-treatment care. The area we've just worked on will be a bit more sensitive to the sun, so my client will need to apply her sunscreen every morning and also avoid direct sunlight. Thank you for watching today's video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and bye.